And speaking of rates, the Biden administration just announced a quadrupling of the import tariff for Chinese EVs. Quadruple? Yep. The tariff is now 100% up from 25%. Didn't Biden say Trump was stupid for proposing this back in June of 2019? Uh, Yep. Here's his tweet from then and now. Now, some of the tariffs on Chinese-made goods like advanced batteries and some medical equipment will be phased in over three years, but the EV solar cell, steel, and aluminum tariffs will take place this year. Some in Congress, like Representative Alyssa Slotkin, Democrat from Michigan, were pushing for the president to ban all Chinese-made EVs, arguing that, quote, thousands of Chinese-made connected vehicles coming into the country would give the Chinese a huge amount of data, high-fidelity data on things like U.S. military bases, key infrastructure facilities like bridges and electric grid nodes, secretive locations, individual leaders. Secretive locations. Yeah. Where are those? Well, you know, that's a really good point because obviously we don't ever import any kind of connected Chinese devices that we would put in any sort of like critical locations like our homes. Right. I mean, TVs aren't made in China. Or stores or anything. I don't think, you know, it's a really good point. Cars are really the only thing that could capture data and send them back. Right, because there's no, like, Chinese-made cameras or drones. Right, or um, um, or uh, smart switches that connect directly to the internet right. or anything like that. Or e-bikes. Right, right. but it, it, exactly. It's just the cars. And, you know, because, you know, she's from Michigan and... Um, Well, they don't make any cars in Michigan, (laughs) right? It's just, she just thinks, she's just talking about security. Anyway, these tariffs should affect $18 billion in Chinese products. So do you guys think that the 100% tariff on Chinese EVs is a good idea? I mean, I'm more concerned with the 50% tariff on Chinese-made solar cells. I mean, it's great if it kind of encourages American-made solar cells. But on the other hand, if it slows down solar because we can't build the factories fast enough, that's not good. Well, and it would have been nice to know this... In advance, it would have been yeah. nice to say like, "Hey, we're, we're going to be rolling out some stuff," right. so that way the American businesses could go like, "Hey, let's start building factories now." Yeah, I mean, hundred percent tariff. Wow, I mean, they do not want Chinese. Do you do you remember? Do you remember we talked with Sandy? It was this was a while ago, and he said if Chinese EVs are allowed to sell on American shores. Um, th- Basically, all the other car companies are dead besides mm. Tesla. I wonder, I mean, I also wonder how this is going to affect um, Tesla selling in China, whether they'll be exempt from any new tariffs that China imposes. I mean, they're made there, so that's good. I mean, we kind of are shooting ourselves in the foot because we make cars and we want to sell them in China, which is the largest car market. And now they're going to be like, hmm. Hey, if you like the work we're doing, please hit the like button. Just stop for one second, hit it. And that way we share this with so many more people because for some reason... YouTube doesn't want to tell people yeah. what we're talking and about. And if you're watching on a TV and you just hit one of the arrow buttons on your remote, you can get over to the like button and hit oh, it as well. Oh, that's good to know. I always get confused. So, Well, it's like I don't want to mess up the video. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.